What's going on guys? This is Raph from Between Two Forks. We're here again this week partnering up with Kangshan Cutlery. So thank you Scarlett, thank you Maddie, and thank you so much Henry for working with me again. And before we get started, let me go ahead and paint a picture for you guys. For the past 15 years you've been waiting silently in the shadows to host the biggest family event. The Christmas dinner. And for the past 15 years, Aunt Jackie, good old Aunt Jackie, has been holding on to hosting Christmas dinner with a death grip. With her overcooked turkey, stovetop stuffing, jarred gravy, and oh, the dreaded, dreaded canned cranberry sauce. And this year, she finally admits to everyone that her frail old little body just cannot handle it anymore. And she willingly passed you the torch. And of course, she gladly accepted. And so you're trying to hit a home run with this. You're trying to impress your entire family to prove that Aunt Jackie had had the torch for way too long. So you go out, you go all out. You buy a 60 day dry aged prime rib roast that you cook to perfection. Perfect, perfect medium rare. And are you going to risk ruining all this love and time that you spent on this prime rib roast? cutting into it with a dull $20 knife? The answer is hell no, you're not going to. So if you're going to spend all this money and all this time into trying to impress your guests, you might as well have the right tools to execute. All right guys, so with all that being said, this brings us to our topic of the day. It is the TC Series carving set by Kangshan Cutlery. So the TC Series is an extremely sleek and modern design, simple yet elegant, as you can see here, this full tang knife is held together, the handle is held together by three pins, and the middle pin is a mosaic pin. I love mosaic pins. Mosaic pins, to me, is a fantastic way for you to add a touch of elegance without doing too much to the knife. And I think this is executed perfectly. Now let's talk a little bit about what you want to look for in a carving knife, okay, or in a carving set. You want a long blade on your knife, a thin blade, and also, this is a really, really nice touch, are these scallopings along the blade. These scallopings, also known as cullens, create air pockets when you're cutting, essentially making the entire blade non-stick, which is fantastic because it, it just glides right through the meat without you know all the extra saw marks and, uh, and without the meat sticking to it. Now, you're probably asking yourself, do I really, really need to invest in a carving set if I'm only going to use it maybe three or four times a year? The answer is yes, because like I said, you want the right tools to execute and the carving set is not limited to just carving big hunks of meat. This carving knife is a great impromptu sashimi knife if you want to make sushi at home. And now, the fork. This carving fork, if you've seen the movie Chef, which is one of my favorite movies, is a great tool to plate pasta in a really, really, really pretty manner. And now let's talk a little bit about the knife and all the different things you can cut with it. A carving knife is great for cutting your squashes, your oversized tubers, and those really, really big melons that you see. Your typical 8 inch chef knife at home is just not long enough to cut a, a medium, even just a medium size melon with one clean stroke. Like you just can't even cut it in half. You have to cut it this way one time, turn it around and cut it, cut it again. And it just creates these jagged edges and it just looks, it looks like crap. And that's where this carving knife comes in and it cuts clean through it without any issue. So it's a really, really good knife for cutting oversized things. And of course, today, I'm going to personally be, personally be cutting this roast chicken that I bought at the store. No, I didn't make it because I just didn't have time to, but uh, that's one of the most common things that people will cut with a carving set is a roast chicken, your turkey, your hams, your big, big roasts, things like that. So without further ado, if you guys like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And let's cut this chicken for dinner. You want to take your fork, 
Use this as an extension of your hand to just kind of hold on and steady the chicken. What you want to do is remove the legs first so you can get clear access to your breast. So let's get these thighs off first. Now you have clear access with all the legs out of the way to the breast. So you can either cut it directly on the chicken. Oh, look at these. Super, super clean and smooth, uniform slices, guys. And that's what a good carving set would do for you is all these really thin pieces cut without all the jagged pieces. Can you guys see this? Without, without all the jagged lines. And this is extremely... Oh, I'm so hungry, guys. Mmm. That is so good. Now, another way you, want, you can cut this too is to remove the breast completely. You want to feel for that sternum. You want to cut right along it. Now let me clean this board off. I'm going to try to bring in the watermelon to see if it's still good. And if it's still good, I'll show you how smooth the cut is on a watermelon compared to, let's say, your 8-inch chef knife. Alright guys, now that I have the board cleaned up, let's demonstrate on cutting into an oversized melon so you can see just how nice it is to have a longer carving knife cutting straight through a watermelon without having to turn it multiple times just to get the job done. Sorry about that guys. All right, now that we're back, I had some parts that I had to cut off because I just didn't like the way they look. And uh, now you can see how pretty this watermelon is. Uh, which side should I cut first? Let's go ahead and cut into this one. As you can see, there's like an inch of the blade sticking out of it. If it was your typical eight inch chef knife, it probably wouldn't even make it all the way through. Look at that beautiful, beautiful cut. Just extremely straight. Just kind of show you guys that uh, the carving knife is not just for carving big hunks of meat. Mm. All right, guys. So there you have it. This is the TC series carving set from Kang Shang Cutlery. So if you're in the market for a carving set, definitely check them out. Extremely high quality knife, great company, <coughs> and very very sharp. And you know, if the determining factor for you is whether or not you're going to use this knife more than just three or four times a year to carve that turkey the answer is absolutely yes you will use it way more than you think this longer blade profile is just fantastic and some people just prefer a different knife profile than your typical chef knife so if you like a longer knife like this this is like a big big brother to the utility knife this is a fantastic choice for it and uh, before you go, if you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it will mean the world to me. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.